Hey guys, so I've been traveling for the past like 24 hours and I didn't manage to film an introductory clip but I just wanted to say hello, welcome to the channel and I filmed this right before leaving so it is a little messy but that's what we have to deal with. Here is the very small bookshelf because I do not have much room living in a New York City apartment but up here we've got some picture books and some random books that do not fit anywhere including the A Day of a Fallen Night by Samantha Shannon. Next, we've got this section, which has all of my favorite English books, as you see. So we've got all my Crazy Rich Asians down here. We've got my Rita Septies up here. I'm gonna do a little bit of a zoom in moment. Um, and we've just got a random selection of books up here. These are my New York review books, which I really love. And then I've got Dune, which I have it not placed in the wrong order so as you can see i collect more classics so up here i have more classics and then i have the fifth season right here and then behind the fifth season i basically have all my game of thrones so i have all that and then up there we've got even more kind of like classics and these are my penguin modern class or my penguin classics and then my P penguin modern classics so yeah, this is definitely my favorite shelf. I adore it. Next, we've got this shelf, which this shelf is kind of cute. Like, I don't know, but this is where we start having my French books. So we've got all the English books that don't fit. So some fantasy and then my T. Williams. And then on the side here, I just kind of arranged it rainbow color, but yeah, some other random books. Now, yeah, so this is my, these are my French books. So I have some candles and everything right here, very cute. But yeah, we've got mostly kids French books. Here I do have, I know this is a series that's pretty popular in English, but I have it in French and just like have never read it. Um, but I just have a large selection of books that I either bought when I was younger or kind of more recently. I feel like this is one that I bought more recently. Um, this side I have even more. I like this one because it has like a whole scene. I haven't read this one yet, actually the series. We've got like the short end um, Monte Cristo book. We've got a Victor Hugo book, which is, you know, um, this is a book that I, oh, you guys can't even see. <laughs> this is a book that I featured in a video, but I never managed to read it. But yeah, we just got a selection. And then down here, I have my Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom displayed next to my collection of bookmarks. And then this is where I have like even more children's French books. So th the this was one of my favorite series in French. It's like this little girl who goes to all these places. I also really like this one. <laughs> I have a random War and Peace. Um, and then behind these two Le Bardugo, book Le Bardugo books, I've got this intense collection of Coeur. Les filles au chocolat, I think. Les filles au chocolat. So, Coeur Cerise is the first one. And then, I I think this is the last one. Coeur Praline. And so, I've got a lot of, like, the little novellas and all of that. So, I was obsessed with this series, which is actually an English series. It was just translated in French. And I guess I just read the French one. So, if you guys <laughs> want to read that. Um, and then, behind, behind the bookmarks, I have another series I really loved, which I can't find my first book but it's Le Journal de Ré de la Flamme. I was the biggest fan of like formats where it was like journals so I was obsessed with this but yeah and then the ninth one literally came out in this vibe which is kind of cool it even has like this little thing that like closes it but completely different format from <laughs> um the first eight books but yeah those were like so fantastic I was obsessed with them Okay, right under that, we've got all my K-pop stuff. Now, I'm not ashamed of being a K-pop fan, but yeah, I've got mostly BTS stuff because BTS is my favorite group, but I also have stuff by TXT, and I also have some things from IVE, which is a girl group, and then some albums right there from ZB1. I even have some like photo card collecting binders up there, so that is that. <laughs>
and then all the way down here even more picture books i need to like get rid of these at some point but yeah picture books arranged in rainbow color <laughs> right next to everything i've got these stacks this is a stack of books i'm trying to sell and no one's buying and this i normally have a stack of library books for the moment not a lot of library books because i'm returning all of them because i'm literally leaving for the airport today um which is why this video was so rushed but yeah I'm zooming in kind of here so you guys can see the books better, but I have featured most of these in videos. So these review books, for example, the Dune books. I don't know if I've uh, featured the Game of Thrones books, but yeah, these I mostly have featured in books. This one was my favorite book of the year so far. Absolutely fantastic. I've never actually talked about it on my YouTube channel, but it is so good. I fully recommend everyone to get it. Um, yeah, some more books here that I don't really mention. Most of these I think I've mentioned. This is my favorite, or this was my favorite author for a really long time, which is why I have so many books of hers. And I also was a really big fan of Crazy Rich Asians. So yeah. And then up here, I just, yeah, I have a assortment of like books that I don't really reach for. So it's all the way up there. Um, here are kind of the books in these piles here. I haven't mentioned most of these actually, Call Me By Your Name, I've mentioned these two, but yeah, the rest I've read, Call Me By Your Name, and The Hands Made Tale. Actually, I also read Things Fall Apart. Um, yeah, and then these were the French books. <laughs> I do, I think my favorites um, were definitely on this shelf. And so here are kind of more single books in French that I haven't read yet, so I just kind of keep them here. Now, we also have a closet where I keep all the books I'm not a big fan of. <laughs> or just like, I don't know. So yeah, it has coats and everything, very ugly. But when you have a small room that you have to share, you kind of have to like improvise. But I've got some different hardcover books here I'm trying to kind of show you guys. Why is it blurry? Okay, so I got different hardcover books. Um, some like Casey McQuiston, just, you know. These were books that we loved as children. <laughs> yeah, but we have just kind of a mix of English and French books. Some of these books I haven't read, but yeah. Um, and then I do have my Harry Potter set and these two books I could not fit anywhere. And I find that this is an ugly green and this one I just couldn't find anywhere. I uh, couldn't fit anywhere. So yeah, but it's basically, as you can see, arranged in rainbow color. It's, it's kind of a vibe, you know? And then here are French books that I just like didn't want to display because I just like wasn't the biggest fan of them. Another series actually that we loved was Les Quatre Sœurs, which this series, which once again they did like these little ones, which this is a uh, I don't know they like you can just go at the grocery store in France and just like find these. Okay, I can't put this back. <laughs> and they switched to doing these big ones. I haven't collected all of these big ones because they kept coming out even though I was growing older. So yeah. Um, and yeah, we just kind of have like a collection of books. <laughs> I got like Harry Potter in Spanish because I'm also speak Spanish. We have like, just like random books. I think this is like my sister's book. We just, it, it gets a little random down here. We've got the Hunger Games collection, which I think my sister might have gotten from somewhere, but it's just kind of a mess kind of all over the place which is why i've never filmed a bookshop tour but um some of you requested it so yeah anyways that is that i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you for a much better video this friday which is finally going to be the vlog that i've been talking about and i'm very excited to continue filming for you guys so yeah okay bye